Well, hello, this is Rochelle and welcome to my channel. I went through my YouTube channel checking for my uh, 2021 favorites and I couldn't find it because apparently I skipped a year. Um, so with all the craziness that has been life in the last two years, it, is, it seems that I've missed a uh, kind of end of 2020 beginning of 2021 favorites um, video and so the last one favorites is 2019 which was for well done in 2020 for the 2019 year <laughs> if you hear weird noises it is my cat this is the only time in the longest time that I've had some quiet to be able to film this so <laughs> let's get right into it starting off of course uh, with Faber Castell, I really, really love Faber Castell products because, for my purposes, I Bible journal, so I need products that I know will work and not bleed through. And so, in between my last favorites and this favorites, they have released a few new products, which I'll get to in a minute. But first, my all-time favorite and probably Grace's too <laughs> is this Click and Go water pot. So this water pot kind of just pops up as such and you can put your water in so that makes it great for traveling as well um, and then when you use your paintbrush you don't have to leave your paintbrush um, in the water it actually has like little scallops that you can put your paintbrushes in i really love that uh, it helps me to remember to not leave my brushes in the water um, and yeah, these have, like I said, been used, well used, well loved, um, and so I definitely recommend the Faber Castell Click and Go water pot. That being my first. <laughs> Next up, I've got the Faber Castell watercolors in pans. These were released also in this time. <laughs> And this is the 48 set that I have, and I do have a full unboxing of it and testing or swatching of the watercolors. Again, you can see, well-loved, well-used, um, vibrant colors. It comes with a aqua brush, which happens to be another one of my very favorite things. Holds water in there, has a self-regulating valve, and your brush. And you don't have to carry water with you, even if you don't need to. You just clean it either on there <laughs> or on a paper towel and once that it runs clear you can go on to your next color unless you want it to blend it then you can obviously blend it also so that's the fabric style watercolor in half pants sorry half pants and uh, they can include neons metallics and then all your vibrant colors right there Next up, I have my Albrecht Durer, which is also a watercolor, uh, also a Faber Castell product. I put mine in a typo bag. This typo bag just happened to fit it perfectly. Um, and they look like this. There are some typo markers in there just to kind of fill the spots because I have a 30 set and this is a 36 holder. <laughs> so these um, are a watercolor marker. They have a fine nib or a bullet nib, and then a brush nib, which is very thick. Um, let me show you how thick. Quite thick brush nib. And it is super juicy. They are quite snobby with uh, the paper that they like. <laughs> and uh, when they do blend on the right paper, it is absolutely amazing. So these are watercolor markers um, reacted with water. And make the most beautiful pictures. I'll try and edit this video and maybe insert a picture or two that I did with these. Next up, I have Lovebird watercolors. So these are a new product here in South Africa by Lovebird watercolors. They're a hand mold watercolor. Now, if any of you have ever seen anything about hand mulling a watercolor, it is <laughs> always ideal when you kill a bug in the middle of your video. <laughs> yes. Okay. Rewind. 
Next up, we have the Lovebird watercolors. These are a watercolor um, that ha have been hand molded, um, handcrafted here in South Africa, actually here in Gauteng. It makes me super proud. I really, really, really love this product. Um, it is, they come in, in three different palettes at the moment. Um, there's the Astro Trio, which has got the kind of gold, white and black in it. You've got the Shimmering Gems, which have got all kinds of shimmering colors in them. All of them are kind of pearlescent or shimmering. There you go. And then you have a very bright fluorescent range and also extremely beautiful. Um, I would definitely invest in these watercolors. The pigment payoff is phenomenal. <laughs> so definitely has become a favorite of mine. Next up, I have a little machine <laughs> that has been all the craze in this last while. It's called the Cricut Joy. Um, it is one of the Cricut cutting machines in their range of three. The bigger one is the maker, the middle kind of ability, also big machine is the Explore. And the little baby is the Cricut Joy. It can only cut uh, as big as that and long as smart vinyl um, but it is a phenomenal product in that if i quickly want to cut a title or uh, cut a vinyl sticker or whatever it is small enough to stay on my desk and not have to be a kind of plan all my cuts so that i take out the machine one time and <laughs> do that it's quick it's easy and it's quiet you can work it from your phone definitely i think worth every cent the little cricket joy Staying with the Joy theme, <laughs> I do love the Joy by um, Young Living, the essential oil blend. Uh, it really is, for me, just brightens my day. <laughs> I love the smell of it. Uh, I, I use it in my little feather diffuser um, right here on my desk, uh, off to that side. <laughs> and I may insert a picture here so that you can see. It stands right next to my Joy. And... Um, Yes, love this little blend. It's really beautiful. Next up, something that we have in South Africa for the last few years, two years since I last did my favorites video, I would say, is um, a brand called Rosie's Studio. Now, I just have a few samples of it. They make paper packs, epoxy dots, die cuts, sticker sheets, um, stamp sets, you name it, they have it, and their whole aim is to make crafting affordable um, for you and I. So you can see from pricing that it really is the most affordable sets of die cuts. And you get in this pack two of each. So it's got 164 die cuts, for instance. I hate cutting, so <laughs> that you would know why I love that and then um, stamp sets like I said with sentiments and various ranges and you can go follow them on Instagram and uh, yeah I just really really love the Rosie Studio it's perfect for project life it's perfect for Bible journaling um, these flowers are stunning fillers in your Bible journaling uh, all these die cuts so definitely a plus here in South Africa I'm so glad we have it uh, Rosie's Studio do go check them out Next up, I have a favorite that I've been using for the last two years. This is the second year. Um, and unfortunately, it sells out so fast, but absolutely worth every penny. So this is the Arlene August Dear, da Dear Daddy, Darling Daddy, sorry. This is the Arlene August Darling Daddy 2022 planner and what she's done with this planner is she's taken say she's taken bullet journaling to the next level so whereas bullet journaling before or is something that you custom plan and you can go check out all of the bullet journaling short is bujo b-u-j-o um, you can go check out all of the reels and the instagrams and the everything you'll see that bullet journaling has taken all the craze now what Ardeen's done is she has done the work for you. 
So she's taken the themes, done the themes beforehand for each month. She's laid out the month at a, at a glance for you. Um, moods and habit trackers. She's done the little blocks for you, month at a glance. What I've added, and that's the great thing, this is black and white. What I've added is I've added washi tape to the sides of my beginning of each month. And then because I do project life, I added like tabs. So I cut into my book tabs uh, for each week so that I can remember which week uh, I need to journal and document in my project life. Um, and then because it is quite thick paper, you can then add all of the color that you want and all of the special that you want. Highlight. She gives you how to's. She gives an, a short of the themes. Um, so all of the color in this I've added. Um, I used Crayola um, super tip markers and I also used my Obrecht Dürer markers. Added the color. Um, busy with January. Added some birthdays. I haven't gotten to memories just yet. I'm very bright. My planning, my mood trackers. She's got a place to journal, gratitude log, and then the start of this year. So that is the 2022 Arlene August Darling Daddy Planner. I think that's all. <laughs> My next favorite is the uh, Art by Marlene, or so this is Art by Marlene. Art by Marlene, Marlene is actually a South African, just FYI. <laughs> I'm super proud to say that she's currently living in the Netherlands and uh, falls under the Studio Light head or brand, Art by Marlene. These are tags and I have run out of space in my Bibles, <laughs> so I, instead of buying 70,000 new Bibles. I've started doing it on these tags and you'll see that over on my journal on my YouTube channel um, these tags are a, a 300 GSM art paper um, their size is a hundred a hundred millimeters by 168 millimeters you do get 21 of these in the pack they stand up to media very well you can use front and back like I have and then do a bit a ring around the um, top I've even had a friend who punched holes in the side and did it like a flip book instead of a um, flip over book. I don't know, however you want to say that. So these tags have really also become a firm favorite of mine. You can also use any products on them because they obviously won't bleed being thick as they are. Okay, my next favorite for the last two years is this guy. This is the Tombow Maxi Power Tape glue pen, glue tape. So this is the permanent one. There's a green one that's the non-permanent one. Um, now, like I said, I do Project Life. Um, this is absolutely perfect for sticking the photos, sticking the elements quickly, quickly, and it is permanent. You do get refills for this, so you don't have to discard of it. And that means that uh, it's also more long during if that's a word <laughs> oh goodness i keep uh, messing up the words today but it's uh yes so this tape really is a favorite i love it use it all the time in my project life my next favorite is a favorite that i found online um i have loved acrylic paints more than i can even say especially the deco art uh, Americana. And then when I saw all of these ladies uh, in the States using the Karen markers um, in the watercolor markers, that was great. I had Albrecht Dürer. I was very happy with that. <laughs> but when they brought out the deco brush uh, acrylic pigment uh, br markers, I was very jealous. So these markers are phenomenal. <laughs> this is their color payoff on white and black so the swatch that i have i have one of the basic color sets um and like i said they are a acrylic ink so they show up on black 
they are fairly opaque. Um, they are blendable, I have found out um, that they are blendable if you use a blending palette and then apply it with a blending brush, which I actually happen to have a Karen Marker blending brush, but yes. So this is, like I said, the best find <laughs> in years. I'm very happy with these acrylic markers. Next up, um, Robin, <laughs> this is especially for you. <laughs> I um, have become, well not become, I've always been kind of a stationary addict, I really love pretty pens, I've always bought my own pens and not relied on uh, inventory at whichever workplace I'm at, because I really like writing with a nice pen, it's just, I love nice pens. So when uh, I met Robin Anderson from Calligraphy Joburg, if you don't follow her, she's also one of my favorites to follow, so follow her, I'll add the stuff. <sighs> I found Lammy. <laughs> and so my husband now calls Robin my penabler, and uh, yes, so Lammy's next on my favorites list. I love the fountain pen. Um, this is also the pen that I write in in my planners, in my um, journals, uh, a lot of places. So uh, the only thing about these is that they do bleed through Bible pages. It is um, a water-soluble ink. It does go straight through. Um, so I don't use these in my Bible, but they are my favorite pen to write anything else with. Um, and I've actually convinced my husband that they're his favorite too. Because he says it's smooth. <laughs> Haven't convinced him to the extent where I, he will let me buy him one. Which will stay in my <laughs> housing. Which brings me to my next favorite. Which is the Paisley Pen Roll. So this pen roll you can see is perfect for my pens. Um, and it is not just perfect for my pens. It is just really absolutely beautiful. And I've got just the most stunning detail to it. The stitching is amazing and it's very durable this this little guy as you can see from the fold marks carries with me everywhere I go so my paisley pen roll is then on my next favorites yes I use all of these pens okay <laughs> and then that is some of my favorites oh I've forgotten as always I still love my creative retreat inks or, or kits um, really love being on this team it's been a phenomenal uh, experience for me um, and I did want to add for those of you who are in the States or who has someone in the States that can bring some back for you um, if you can get a hold of the archival pigment ink pads um, by Creative Retreat they are a firm favorite because they don't bleed through in your Bible and uh, they are pigment and they are archival and then it comes in all of these amazing colors so um, definitely something I would look into if you don't have some already I would endeavor <laughs> to get some from Creative Retreat over in the States their shop is an awesome online shop if you want to go check it out I will link it here another one of my favorites is this Karn Dosh um, palette uh, and it has <laughs> uh, it has a textured surface so when you scribble your gelatas or your neo color twos onto this um, it the, the payoff is phenomenal so it takes some of the some of that tooth to grip some of the pigment and then picking it up with a foundation contour brush is very easy um, this palette has really become a go-to for me I've even done my markers on the back of it which is very smooth um, mixed it on there and added water and water colored with it so definitely another firm favorite is my Karen Dosh aquarelle palette <laughs> Karen Dosh aquarelle palette there you go Next up, different spot, <laughs> different sound, different lighting, but uh, same favorites video. I do have two more tools that I've really, really, really grown to absolutely love 
this last two years. Um, the first is my Cricut Tree Control Craft Knife. It has a, a very decent grip, which helps me. And I think because it's longer, it doesn't hurt my fingers as much as um, the previous ones that I've had. Um, the blades, you push this little button. Sorry, first twist it. <laughs> And then push it and the blades come out and these replacement blades are um, then just stuck in so there's no like single blade that you have to uh, purchase um, and try and maneuver into that little spot <laughs> oh sorry click and then insert um, no single blade that you have to try and hold and maneuver and whatever else you discard of that entire piece you just lock it over here and it's locked in place and really it does stay quite sharp for quite a while so I haven't had to replace a single blade yet and I do use it an awful lot so <laughs> there's that um, as much as I hate cutting which most of you may know um, <laughs> like I haven't said that before the Cricut scissors uh, fussy cut scissors have got a very sharp point which is what you need um, and it does cut very well so I really do like these scissors as well for the occasional fussy cutting that my brother can't um, exactly scan and cut which you may know brother still is my all-time favorite uh, cutting machine just because of the scan and cut function um, I do mostly printable so that for me is a very important part of cutting um, the scanning so that's for my needs um, for your needs if you have different needs by all means any cutting machine um, like I said for the scanning function of the brother scan and cut it still remains my favorite machine um, but I do like these tools <laughs> even the Cricut trimmer is phenomenal I don't use a trimmer because I do mostly craft knife but the Cricut trimmer is phenomenal and highly recommended here at uh, La Rochelle Crafts and on my channel. So last one, well, second to last one for this favorites, it's a long video, right? Is my Fabric Style Gold Faber Aquarelle pencils. Um, and I have it in this, this uh, little goodie here with some brushes, my ever so trusty uh, aqua brush my favorite s nib or xs and c and s nib petotis pens my gold faber pen like graphite pencils and then my pens so pencils so these are water soluble in other words you can activate them with water after you've drawn colored in etc etc and it then does give a watercolor look and feel to it really love the pouch it's an added extra um, makes it easy to carry around <laughs> I do like the tins but you can only have so many tins right so this is really a favorite and then lastly which I've mentioned in this video already a lot of times is project life if you don't know what project life is it is a very big deering album wherein you document kind of each um, week of your life so you'll have 52 entries at the end of project life um, let's just check if there's no private kind of videos in here <laughs> or photos in here um, so wedding we had the, a wedding this week and um, some fun times with some fun friends um, some horse riding at the bottom which you can't see on this video it's a little too um, not spaced should I say some blue tea, fairy tea that my sister gave me. Um, so the idea of Project Life is to document, number one, all of those photos that you take and never put anywhere. So if you do scrapbooking and you do layouts, um, you can't necessarily do a whole big layout with just one photo. Um, this then forces you to document the entry or the photo so that you can remember because I promise you and I love what Heidi Swap is saying um, with stop the blur you can search that on Instagram as well stop the blur you always say in three or four months you're going to print it you're going to remember you, you won't you're not going to remember so this 
forces you to document those everyday kind of photos um, that isn't necessarily full layout worthy, if I can call it that, um, but that you want to remember and it helps you to look back on your life in a kind of week on week, you know, layout look. <laughs> My daughter fit all the clothes in my cupboard. Um, it's fun to remember uh, I, one of my favorite teachers, Henri. Um, some scrapbooking or journaling, uh, pretty skies. Uh, all of those, like I said, everyday kind of um, photos, like I said, my pen roll, <laughs> my Paisley pen roll. Um, and so in that way, you can then remember uh, those moments and document them and your kids can have something to look through all of your foodie photos um, lots of lots of fun so that then if you can see my favorites <laughs> the joy <laughs> um, yeah so that then is my video for the favorites my albertures coffee as always um, so thank you so much for joining me in watching this uh, video. I know it was really long. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you go and get yourself some of these favorites to try out and test out. And I will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.